we're here tonight on this spooky wooky autumn evening to demonstrate and play with and review the Xeon light wands. Woo! We're going to do some light painting and show seven ways of how we can use them creatively for photography. So let's get straight into it. <laughs> yeah, superhero pose for the win. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, these are epically cool, actually. Do you think you could get a double spin? So like one that's quite small and then one that goes a little bit wider. Three, two, one, go. Now that was really cool. So for this one, Rebecca, I need you a little bit further back into the scene, I think, maybe around here. And we'll have our wonderful wand wavers wafting towards her. Three, two, one, go. That looks so cool. I just need to Photoshop out some legs, but how oh, good wow. is that one? That looks really good. That looks sick. Wow. Well done, wand wavers. Wow. 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 All right, so that one's in the bag. That one is in the actual bag. Flash gun and chaos, we'll call this one. So, the first frame, the flash will freeze Rebecca in place, and then we just need you guys to sort of do a little bit behind her and a little bit in front of her, but it's like a low intensity and quite fast. And apologies if you all get blinded. And also it might be funny if the flash doesn't go off because I haven't actually tried it yet, <laughs> but we'll see. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, it worked. Oh, okay. That's, that's very interesting. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. We're probably just going over the same space over and over again. Right? Yeah, so I think a less, less long shutter speed, maybe? Yeah. A shorter. Yeah. It's what less long is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so we're going to go for three seconds rather than what we just did. One's at the ready. That's actually gorgeous. We'll do that one next. Three, two, one, go. Ah! Well done, wand wavers. That's that's really cool. I can light you up your face. You look so creepy at the side. <laughs> we'll we'll, 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 we'll that out. So for this one, you guys are human tripods. I'm very sorry. I mean, you are. Yeah, <laughs> human tripods. Anyway. Uh, so we're just going to do this where I'm going to tell you to position contrary lights around Rebecca and she's going to look gorgeous. Oh, these are gorgeous. So I'm going to backlight you as well. I'll give you a little bit of a sexy highlight. All of the frizz. Lights. Oh, yeah. Those are the colours. <laughs> Gorgeous. That one was easy. Would anybody else like some portraits in this light? Because they're absolutely gorgeous. Oh yeah. Lovely. Kiva, you're amazing. Look at her little face. Kiva. Uh, no. <laughs> Who wants to be Chief Wiggler? Three, two, one, wiggle. That's really cool. Could I get a, a, a cooler light on that one, like a teal or something, or a blue? Three, two, one, go. And bathe her in the light at the end. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So for this one, we're just going to use random light painting without a subject, because I think the tunnel itself is really cool. So we're going to wand paint throughout and then I'm going to add in some green light from camera. Go! That is superb isn't it? Did you write cross? <laughs> <laughs> That's like you wrote cross. So just go straight down, done, quick and then that's the shot done. We're going to do one here. Yeah. We're going to do one on the steps, a little bit like a, a Brucey bonus maybe. One much closer to frame, I think, here. Okay. And see how it looks like with the three. Three, two, one, go. 
Okay. Worked absolutely perfectly. So we just move towards the stairs. One, two, three, go. Lovely. And then uh, one closer. One, two, three, go. Oh wow. Oh wow. Three, two, one, go. Yep, that's fine. I'm thinking down the leading line of the path, so just different poses all the way down the path. Three, two, one, go. 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 We've got 10 seconds, automatic lock-in, go. So I'm here recording a documentary today and the Xeon ones have come in so, so handy. We're in quite a small space. I'm actually in a doorway at the moment and I've got one of the ones at the back with some warm light and I have the second one on a light stand with the barn door accessory to have a nice controlled hair light. It's been very, very handy. The batteries have been going for days and yeah, it's working very well. This is a setup that I'm going to use a lot going forward. I hope you enjoyed those tips. I had so much fun filming that. I'm just going to go over what I think of the actual ones. They are ridiculously easy to use as well. You've just got one button in the middle to toggle through all your bits and bobs and your dial as well to change the intensity and saturation of things. There's also a really cool preset mode where it will emulate a fire or a candle or a television or lightning. So if you're making short films and things like that and need very specific lighting effects, this is a really good option. Having the Kelvin on the display is so handy to just match all the colour temperatures in the room. I have a key light at a certain Kelvin and if I wanted a hair light to match it or maybe a little bit warmer, it all works very intuitively. At the bottom you have a mini tripod mount so you can mount them like they are in the background now or onto a light stand so very very cool Xeon also sent me this smaller LED light which I used as a hair light for a lot of the light painting you can match the colour temperature again with that I think it's a beautiful modern sleek design and my goodness it's very very robust <laughs> Thankfully it wasn't a camera, <laughs> I'd have cried. But the light itself survived with absolutely nothing but a few cosmetic scars, so sorry Xeon, but also very, very robust. Now the ones themselves are ventilated and they are incredibly quiet. They were very close to my subject during the documentary filming and you couldn't hear them in the audio at all. So that's not something to worry about. Completely aesthetically, I think they're very stylish. I like that you can get them in white and black and I like the soft case that comes with it as well. You can run them off USB-C power and also there is a mains connection as well, though you don't get a mains connection plug in the box. That's something to buy separately. The main benefit for me, I think, is these lights are very versatile. I tend to have a collection of lights that do one thing very well and then the rest of the time they get stuck in a drawer or a cupboard and I don't use them. With these ones I can use them for photography and creative purposes like I've demonstrated. I can light up my YouTube setup. I can use them for additional lights in professional work. I can use them in short films if I ever get back into that. I think there's a lot of ways that you can use these. So I think in terms of how much you pay and what you get out of it, it's more likely that these will be used regularly compared to a more specialized light. So if you'd like to learn more about these lights then follow the link below and you can check out the website and watch this video next. Here are five tips to level up your photography fast.